Hello and thanks for tuning in to Me and My Golf TV. You've joined us here on our USA Golf Breaks Tour. And Andy, we're in Southern California. We are. Playing Pelican Hill on Beautiful the south place. course. It's an amazing facility, an amazing resort. Make sure you check out the videos of us being here, living here in the vlog, in the villas. Been fantastic, hasn't it? So yeah. what we've got in store today then? Right, we're playing seven holes. The back nine of the south course is going to be great. A little bit breezy out here this morning, but I'm sure it's going to test our skills. Hope you enjoy, guys. Right then, 10th tee, Andrew, 441 yards. That's a nice opening hole, isn't it? It's a lovely hole, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite tight. <laughs> tight and 450 yards. So we have got landing area, obviously somewhere down there. It looks straight ahead. Okay, Andy, so going with the driver, yeah? Going with the driver, yeah. Okay. Hard to know where the wind is. It feels like it's a bit off the left, but... Off the left, off the ocean. Play well, please enjoy this... Uh... Nice golf course. I've got a feeling that I may. Okay. Okay, so let's see what we've got. So we're gonna give you a bit of instructional stuff as we go along. Some shot tracers, usual stuff, not a match this one. Showcasing the course. And this is a perfect little draw down the middle of the fairway. Okay, Chris. Alright. Get off to a nice start, shall we? Yeah, the next few start. holes are pretty tr tricky, I think. I'm thinking about the 11th already. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Actually, I can't say that either. What should I say? <laughs> hey, that's what I should say. Perfect. Anyway. Going up the left, and it's towards the path. Not sure up there. Not sure. You can get the fade. Candy, okay, middle of the fairway. 185 to the flag. Into quite a strong breeze. Yeah. I'm just gonna hit, I've got a five iron here. I say into, hit. yeah, it's in, into off the left, isn't one. it? Into off the left. Are you gonna play a draw? Um yeah, I'm just gonna sort of draw it into the wind, but I'm just gonna see if I can keep it a little lower. Okay. Knock down five here. Beautiful fairways, we were saying. Yeah, really uh, spongy. Mm. Again, winter here, so grass starting to go a bit more dormant. And five iron. Hit it a little softer because he's going into the wind. It's just leaking out right. Wind's just got it a little bit, so it's going to be a, a past that bunker. It's rolling down the bank, rolling down the bank. Well, I'm going to have. Extreme downhill lie on that next shot. <laughs> oh, we'll have to little talk about that. About how you're going to play it. it. Tough shot, actually. Right, so Pierce just uh, finished right of the cart path, just there. A little bit further down the mine. What have we got? Yardage, Pierce. 170. 170. Okay, 170. Six iron, low. Keep it under the wind. Okay. Punch shot. Bit of punchy shot then here. Gusts around today. Oh, and that's right. Followed me, and it's going to be just on top of that bank over there. So, me and you have got some interesting short game shots testing us out from the start, <laughs> Pierce. That was, uh, didn't really work that punch. I mean, practicing one of those recently. When you play in nice weather. <laughs> Right, Pierce. Is that oh. golf ball? Have you seen it? How much it's sitting up? If I play that normally, I'm going to go underneath it. So what I'm going to do, quick tip. If you've got a really good lie like that, I'm going to put the ball back and let the face go a little bit more like that. So there's more face to be offered, so it's de-lofted. The high loft will help it go up. Plus I'm pitching into the wind, so it's going to stop. Mm, right. Sounds good. Test out the short game early on in the round now. And that needs to spin. The bad ran on a little bit, but so hard there to get a, a solid strike. I was Not a bad solid. shot there, that pretty good shot there. Not bad. 
So the good thing about this shot is, and it could fall in the bunker. There's a good thing about this shot. Yeah, the good thing is you could fall in the bunker. Right. Okay, okay being tested out already. Bunkers short and right, which I think is quite common on a Tom Fazio design golf course. You obviously got a thing against slicers, <laughs> like me and Andy. Okay, so ball well above, so he's well down the handle. Might pull a little bit. When you have a loft on the club face, it will pull on a short iron on these chips. So a little draw as he plays it in there, similar to mine, runs on a little bit. A little bit better than mine. Yeah, it's a good shot. Well done. Balance is the key on those shots, isn't it? Yeah, it's just getting your balance. A bit downhill as well, so I have to place a bit more weight on the front leg. So yeah, happy with that really. Played it good. Pierce. Okay, par save. Par save here. A little bit downhill, off the right. Not the way you want to start, really, with a... But you never know. Be a good save. And just a little too far right. Okay, tap that one in. Oh. Okay. Let's see a bit downhill. Slight bit of right to left. Par. Solid, solid, solid. Easy up and down. Easy up and down. From all the way there. <laughs> Definitely not. Good four. Okay, Andy, 11th tee. Not a bad looking backdrop, that. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? We've got 367. 367. Down to the ocean. Bit of Into breeze, the breeze. Two iron. Two iron. Two iron, slightly stingery. Yeah, I'm just going to try and keep it a little lower. That will help. Maybe down the left as well. Slightly left. Okay, wind is probably pushing you a bit that way as well, so... We'll be taking that into account with the lower ball fight. Down the left, and I'm not going to be able to see because he's in the way. <laughs> Shot trace will pick that up. Probably just on the bank on the left, maybe? Yeah, okay, so yeah, down towards the bank, yeah, hopefully it kicks in. Do you know what, there. though? If you look at where the flag is, and I'm sure this went into Andy's pre shot the flag's on the right, he wanted to be in the left hand side. Okay, Pierce, two had iron get, as well. I had to get the t shirt out, didn't I? In California, Andy, not yeah, I know. Blooming the Midlands. Right, yeah, two iron sting it. That's the opposite side to me. It's going down just towards that shadow there. So we're in separate parts there, Pierce. Yeah. You might still have a shot of line to flag though from there, but. Yeah, it'd be fine. I would have preferred to have been on the other side. I've lost the tee. Okay, so we've got Pierce's here. He's a little, like I say, you can see now why we want it to be the left side of the flag. He's a little blocked out. He's going to zoom in towards the flag area there. He's got to cut the corner. Really, the tree here shouldn't be an issue because he's got a plenty of loft, seven iron. But I would say again, he's probably going to go edge on the left side of the flag just for the safe side, really. Yeah. Loads of green to work with, Pierce. And it's gone right at the flag, a little bit of draw. Yep. Has it got the legs? Did it make the oh, green? No, see. Not sure, it may have been a bit short. It was, it was well, sorry, it was a bit toey, so it may not have quite made it. <laughs> might be in the bunker, it might be okay. Okay, Andy, 144 to that flag. That is Hello, ball tight ball right, ball below. Wind coming into and off the right. Nice challenging shot here. Well, actually, I'm not even going to go anywhere near the flag. I'm I think... The middle of the green. Do you uh, know what? Absolutely. Give myself, give myself a push, hopefully. Low fade, which the bank will do for him. Low fade into that avenue there is going to do wonders for him. So that was just a suicide pin. Even though he's got full access to it, do not go for that flag. Low bunter, left half of the green fading in. Oh, I didn't see that at all because of the sun. No idea where that is, Andy. Is it okay? I think 
you know what? It's just about probably 10 yards left of the flag. It might be just towards the back of the green. Okay. I saw it bounce, but I think it's just the back of the green. Okay. Okay, so we found Pierce in the bunker. It actually hit the face of the bunker just here and then rolled all the way back. So he's left with a 25 yard bunker shot here, maybe 30 yards. That tight flag. Bunkers are quite firm. They just get slide underneath it. Really nice shot. Played that very, very good from there. Just short of the hole. Yeah, good shot from there, Pierce. Tricky distance. Okay, so Andy's ball unfortunately went through the green into the deep rough. Cock and pop. A little bit, yeah, I just want to sort of downhill, so I want to get it to really just the fringe, just of the, the apron there and just let it run down really. Okay, so cock and pop means that he gets the club coming up a little bit more aggressively and then popping down into the ground. It's a nice looking shot on camera. Pebble Beach style shot. It's got to sit, it's got to sit, it's got to sit. Oh, it's all downhill from there, that was tough. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what he could have done there, to be honest, to get that st uh, stopping near the flag, other than hitting the flag, so... Tough shot, tough shot. Need your putter, Andy? Don't forget. Okay, so Andy's now got probably around about 25 feet up the hill. Slightly left to right. Interesting to see whether he goes with his wider stance or look at that. The wind blew that or anything or what? That was a little wide for him. But it is tricky when it's windy. This hole's proving to be rather tricky, isn't it? Okay, so should be a great save pace this will. Yeah. Got about 12 feet, 10, 12 feet there, left to right. As he saw from mine, a little faster than that first green. Just gonna stroke this one pretty smoothly. See it's sort of moving straight away off the right there. You can see, look at this. Yeah. Finish it off, Andy. Yeah, you take time. Yeah, nice. You can see the building some houses here around the course. Uh, beautiful location looking at the sea and the golf course. You're building your house, Andy? Yes, I'm building my house. I wonder why you were spending so much time looking at it. I think you need to learn to play this hole better if you're just going to live there. <laughs> You'll get plenty of practice. So as Andy said there, green's a lot faster here, so I think the 10th green, there's a lot of work being on. It is winter time here, so it's when they get to really work at the greens. This one's a lot faster. No problem, right in the middle. All right. Shots and birds. Can we have a birdie in part one? That means we've got a bird to the next hole. Oh yeah, this is where it gets easy now. The next hole's easy, isn't easy. it? Real, real easy. Good for a treat now, guys, for these, these next few. Twelfth and last hole of part one. We have a par three, 140 yards into the Pacific, effectively. Okay, there's a breeze as well. There's a bit of breeze. So, Andy, what are you going to hit? I'm hitting a six. Now, normally this would be a nine, so <laughs> three club wind here. Three club wind. All I'm, I'm going to do on this one is really just focus on really having a short swing, taking the wrists out of it. So a shorter back low, swing, really. shorter back swing, less wrist, that'll take the back spin out of the shot. This is a mildly good t-shirt. You said it was getting easier. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here he goes. like it, I can't quite see it. Was it a bit short coming down? Short. Front of the green. And that was six iron. Yeah, that was so nice. I hit that all over the flag. A little six iron. The wind just didn't even grab that still. I was happy with that shot. Okay, the wind really picking up now. Um, Pierce just needs to keep this one a little lower than mine to get it there. Same club. It's normally apparently quite calm here, but there's a, a weather front the last couple of days. It's really picked up. That one's just drawing away from the flag, finishing just towards the shadow in the corner there, left side of the green, so I'm not sure whether you saw that down. Hopefully it just stayed on the green though there, might be behind the, uh, the bank. Okay, so Andy coming up the hill here, pitched on the front, 
fell back, it's uphill into the wind. He needs his uh, needs his Weetabix on this shot to give it a good hit. That's an excellent putt. Oh, yes, yeah, his Weetabix. Nice. I'll give you that one, Andy. Are you sure? For I'll four. That one away. <laughs> good Thank putt. You. Very kind of you. Okay. Okay, so Pierce very close there to the uh of the beach, but he's got a downhill right to left and left to right. It's going to be quite fast, so you won't need much on this. So you can see it's starting to work its way, and it's going to start to come back towards the end, as you can see there. Not bad for that. Rather fast. Yes, definitely fast that was. Beautiful par 3, great green. Lots of undulations on this. The flag was up there this morning, wasn't it? Put this in some flag in some tricky positions. This is a fairly uh, generous one. Gladly for us. And nice, yeah, nice par there, Pierce. Good one. Good one. We got a par there. Two pars. Woo! We steady the ship now. Part two is where all the birdies happen, though, boys and girls. Stay Enjoy tuned. It. Okay, there you have it, the end of part one of our Pelican Hill South Ocean Course vlog. Make sure you head on over to part two. Also, put your comments down below. Let us know what you think of this amazing golf Beautiful. course. Fantastic. Beautiful. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It's for free and it's going to allow you to interact with us. Definitely. I'm excited for the next part, but what you want to do also is make sure you check out our experience here. Click in the corner for our vlog experience of the whole resort. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.